Smartwatch Ticks uh, keyboard review. We're going to kick off with an uh, alternative keyboard, perhaps for the Smartwatch. I'm going to get through this one quickly because we don't need to spend much time on the Kimple, K E E M P L E keyboard. That's the one I selected on the watch. I don't even have it on the phone because I want to show you what happens when you don't really design for a smart watch. This keyboard, although they profess to have really big letters, and they do, that your fingers could actually touch, it's a keyboard divided in half. Half here, half there. Pretty neat idea, except you have absolutely no idea what you're typing. There's no way to check it. As you type away, and we're in a note field there, unless you put the keyboard down, and check it. You have no idea what's going on. Now, if you're really, really strapped and not able to tap these keys correctly and you need a huge keyboard like this and you're willing to go back and forth to see what you typed, you might consider this. But we're going to show you some alternative ways of entering data on your smartwatch that are a little more practical. Nonetheless, it's a creative idea, and you got to admit the ability to put down the keyboard to see what you're doing is beneficial. But I'm telling you, if you're entering data like a password and you need it perfect and you put it down and all you see are the dots, this probably isn't going to work for you. But that's an overview. It's a, an option, and it is available in the um, Google Play, uh, Play Store. For apps and this one you have to purchase so take a look check it out and uh, perhaps you'll use it we'll be back with something a little more practical in just a little bit <laughs> 